Hey there, it's Chris Everdeen, and welcome to another thrift haul. I believe this is like my third one, and this is going to be a collective thrift haul. I think it's been a couple months since my last thrift haul, and although this isn't necessarily the biggest haul, I still want to show you, so let's get started. So first I'll go through the tops and then we can move on to the other categories. So the first top I'm going to show you is this black and tan crop top with this like Mayan or Aztec bohemian um, design on it. It is designed on the front as well as along the trim and it has this cute little uh, peekaboo back as well. Or is this even called a peekaboo back? I mean it's actually pretty big. So, uh, but it has a slit in the back held together just with this little piece on the top. I also got this pink lace top. It is a little too big for me. It's a medium and I don't know if it's really big, but I think it's an adorable light pink or pastel pink and it's actually really soft. The little flowers that it has on it are actually kind of fuzzy and really really soft so I really liked it and um, again it's going to keep me cool during the summer. Another casual top that I found was this simple black and white striped halter top. I believe it is originally from, oh never mind, Bozalo. I thought it was, I was going to say Forever 21 but it's actually from Bozalo and it's a size medium but it fits me really well as opposed to the pink one I just showed you where it fit me kind of big. This one fits me pretty well. So um, this was a really good find. Last tank top is this super soft lace up tank top which also fits me a little loose although I think it is a size small so it's probably supposed to fit like that. But this has probably been one of my favorites that I found. I've been wearing this a lot lately just because it's really soft and comfortable and thin but it's not see-through and then it has this little uh, extra design of lace that I really like. I don't know if it's still trendy to have lace up stuff but I like it. And I've been pairing it with some bell bottoms that I have and I've been absolutely loving my outfits. Another casual top that will definitely not keep me cool during the summer is this one. I know it's like a regular looking plaid t-shirt but what I really liked about this was the color combination like light blue and white definitely reminds me of my dragon flame hogwarts house i have on my second channel kalua and if you don't know what i'm talking about just visit the link in the description box below under kalua and then you'll understand so i mostly got this so i can wear it around my waist and whenever i get really cold then i can just put it on top of my tank top as well um, not necessarily to wear it just as a regular plaid t-shirt, but once it gets colder, I don't see why I wouldn't wear it as a regular plaid t-shirt. So this is actually rather multifunctional, and I'm glad I got it. It's really nice, and I never really see this color combination in a flannel. I also got this off-the-shoulder, um, not necessarily lace, but kind of embroidered white uh, top. It is a little big for me, but I guess you could just style it in a certain way, and it'll still look pretty good. I really like the off-the-shoulder. Um, it's very stretchy but not like too restricting or constricting. It's uh, like a soft stretch and I really like it. And although the sleeves are a little bit puffy, uh, I think this top is cute enough for me to be okay with the puffy sleeves. Okay, so the final top that I got is this laced uh, flower designed top. And this is something that is very see-through so I'm definitely going to be needing to wear a bralette under and um, it's going to be very airy and definitely keep me cool. I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again, but I was keeping these things in mind whenever I was searching through the thrift store, and I think I got a really good collection of really cute tops, and I'm looking forward to rocking them this summer. So onto the bottoms. One of the coolest things that I found in the thrift store were these bell-bottom pants, and like I said before, I've been wearing a lot of bell bottoms lately, not only because the material is thin and breathable and stretchy and very, very comfortable, but they also just look really, really nice. And you can wear them with flat sandals, but I think they look really good with platform sandals. And I actually have a couple of those uh, platform sandals, so I've been uh, really happy to wear these, especially because um, these bell bottoms actually run pretty long and I'm rather petite, so. Uh, they gave me a reason to wear my platform sandals and I've been loving it! Now this pair I didn't necessarily find in the thrift store but I found them on this app called Mercari which is basically an online thrift store. You could sell your used um, clothes there or your used whatever there and you could also buy used stuff uh, for a fraction of the price 
and yeah, it's basically an online thrift store on your phone. And I actually sell my crochet tops there. If you're interested in buying any of my crochet tops, says I have a little store on Mercari too. Yeah. So anyway, I found these on Mercari for $15. So pretty much half off um, wherever else they sell bell bottoms. And they're still in really good condition. And these have probably been my favorite pair to wear with everything because they're actually really thick. They're way thicker than the one I just showed you. And, um... They're black and white, which I really like because they can go with anything. I mean, they do sometimes look blue, but ultimately they're black and white. <laughs> the last pair of bottoms I got are actually just denim shorts, and they are a little big as in terms of length. I think I'm just going to have to cut it one more time and then refold it. And what's funny is that I see that they actually um, had these taken in. You see right there? And what that means is that these were a little too big for the previous owner's uh, waist. So they, what they did is that when it's too big, they pinched the sides in the back and then they sew them together that way it could be tighter, a tighter fit. And I say that it's funny because I actually have a video on how to take in clothes that are too big for you. So I teach you how to um, get bottoms that are too big around your waist and how to pinch them and then sew it and then have them fit your waist way better. And anyway, I thought that was funny, but because they did this, they fit me great. And I really like them, but again, the only flaw is that they're a little too long, so I need to cut them, but then after that, they are perfect. The other bottom that I got is this lovely, uh, kind of lace-ish, thick maxi skirt. And I really love white maxi skirts. I probably have, I think, three of them. I haven't worn this one yet, clearly. I still have the tag on it. But uh, I'm really looking forward to wearing it this summer. Uh, preferably not on super hot days because, again, it is thick. It has multiple layers. It has this one, um, like, kind of lacy layer. And then it has the thicker layer underneath to make sure that the skirt isn't see-through. And uh, it does keep your legs pretty warm, so you don't want to wear this around on a really hot day, but uh, probably on maybe like an 80 degree weather day, it would be really nice to wear. And yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to have it. And it was only $7.99, which I actually think that I got it for half off because the, the deal of the day was green, so like four bucks, heck yeah. I'm sure that skirt was worth like $50 at one point. Alrighty, moving on to dresses. I have two of them here. Uh, I have this red one that reminds me so much of like Fire Nation wear, Avatar The Last Airbender, Fire Nation stuff, and I really, really liked it. Um, but the thing is, when I wear it, I kind of look like a potato, so I need to wear like a belt or something to show some of my figure, but I just feel very potato sack-ish and I don't want to so probably every time I wear this I'm gonna wear a belt with it as well and the last dress that I got is from Brandy Melville remember when Brandy Melville was like everything probably like in 2014 Brandy Melville was everywhere everyone was wearing it and everyone either loved it or hated it because it was one size fits all and it just it just blew up and I really wanted this dress, but it was sold out everywhere. I don't really remember the name of it, but it's like this um, kind of, what I say, ruffled, kind of layered dress. Very, very simple. Uh, all of Brandy Melville uh, attire is very simple and very soft. And um, people went crazy over it, but I guess now they died down. And I found this in the thrift store for $3. So... Um, I believe that this one was probably 40, 30, okay, 30 to 40 to 50 dollars, and it was three dollars now, so that's yet another reason why I love thrift shopping, and yes, this is another dress that makes me look like a potato, but again, you could always wear a belt, you can always just not care, and just rock it anyway. Alright, we're on to the last item already, I told you it wasn't really that much of a haul, even though it's been a couple months. But, uh, yeah, so I found this gorgeous denim jacket with faux fur on it. And it was originally from Hollister, and it's like the OG Hollister, not this new Hollister that they have where 
I feel like their product and their designs really aren't that good anymore. So this is like an older version of Hollister. Even the tag is different. It's like brown and now they have it with like, I don't know what color, but it has it says Hollister and it has a little seagull on it. So this one's I don't know how old this one is, but, but I would say this is definitely vintage and uh, rare as well. So you see the Hollister tag right here. I love the inside design. It's very thick. It's um, very good quality. I believe the original tag was still on it, and it was probably like $75 to $80. I remember it was pretty dang expensive. And I got it for $15. And they had so many at the thrift store, there was probably like 12 of them. And I wanted to buy them all, but I was like, wait, what am I going to do with 12 of the same jacket? But I'm just kind of like that, where it's like, I can't just buy one because it's like, what if something happens to it? What if I lose it? What if I stain it? I just, I want another one and I don't want to uh, find myself not being able to find this design anymore. Um, but I ultimately told myself, just take care of this jacket and you'll have it forever. Don't worry about it. So I just got one and I absolutely love it. Um, I told you about my uh, outfits that I've been wearing a lot lately. It's the black tank top with bell bottom jeans and this jacket. Oh, beautiful, and I love it, and I'm happy, and that's why I go thrift shopping, so I can get unique vintage items and have a different look than everyone else shopping at regular department stores. So again, that was my thrift haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and also click that red subscribe button if you have not already, so I can see you next time. Bye!